Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Did you let it come on first? Yes. <laughs> I always do this. I want everyone to know that they are welcome. Welcome to Book Talk, How to Pray with Power on Purpose. Book Talk with the one and only Pastor D, Dunamis D, Mama D, Coach D, you name it. Mm -hmm. But a kingdom teaching pastor, spiritual leader, strategic life and relationship coach, and of course, author of the dynamic book, How to Pray with Power on Purpose. Mm -hmm. We have been pretty much every week, every other week, coming consistently for book talk. And this has been so powerful. We're actually on chapter three, mm -hmm. part two. How, how are you, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, come on in. We're going to wait for some other people. I'm just warming you up and greeting you. This is a book talk that's interactive. So if you've never experienced our book talks before, this is when you get to ask questions to Pastor D about prayer, about her book in particular, mm -hmm. about her as an author, as a leader, whatever questions you may have. As a woman. As a woman. Whatever. This is your time to talk to Pastor D. And again, book talk. Come on in, everybody. How are you, Judy? Hello, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. That's my new opening, you all. You, so you like it? Yes, yes. I'm just sitting back and just watching you. I'm like, she is really in her element right now. I mm -hmm. am. You know, I'm geekish with it when mm -hmm. it comes. But I love reading. But most of all, not only do I love reading, I love growing. Not only do I love growing, I love prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer has become and my you life. You really grow. Oh, yes, you. You know what? I'm gonna tell a little story while we wait on yeah, other people to come in because I, I did not know anything in particular about prayer. I, the prayer for me was Jesus, I need, God, I need, uh, why are you doing this to me, Lord? Um, God, you know, God, why? What's that was on? that was the extent What's of my on? prayer. Yeah, What's going on? Yeah, why, why yeah. I can't have? That was the extent of my prayer life. And then I met Pastor D about nine years ago. I was a part of her emotional healing clinics. You talking about broken, bitter, just, but I, I didn't know that. I was altogether lovely. I, you know, had a lot of going on for me material wise, but no substance really. And just dead on the inside emotionally, mm -hmm. didn't even know it. And so lo and behold, not only was I part of emotional healing clinic and started healing, the healing mm -hmm. process, the mm -hmm. inward process, the things, that, you know, the heart, things that I just don't mm -hmm. want anybody to know mm -hmm. about and touch because of the hurt and the pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so went through the healing process and then I... I remember coming to Change of Life Ministries. That's when you were a pastor at the time. Mm -hmm. And no, I... No, you're a pastor right <laughs> now. I'm just kidding. Would you go ahead? Well, I'm going to tell, you, you tell like... the world what, what she really is. You know, just spiritual leader on a whole nother level. And so I started going. I was very skeptical because it was so unreal. I was at a mega church. And, you know, at a mega church, you're pretty much a number. There's nothing personal about it. But it was, a, it was a, a few of us, but we were so powerful and so mm -hmm. close-knit. It was a yeah. family. It was a family. And so I was kind of skeptical because I had never been that close to people. Mm -hmm. And I had a problem with religion, religious folks. And, you know, they were praising God, but they didn't have no instruments. I'm like, what kind of church is this? You know, no <laughs> instruments, and they just using their voices. It was so different. And then it was teaching. We had books. We had um, just a whole bunch of things to, that we had to. Like it was school. We had binders. <laughs> We took notes. It wasn't no. She didn't preach to us and then sit down and, you know, drink a little orange juice in a cup, whatever they do. You know, I'm just saying. I'm keeping it real. We learned. Mm -hmm. And we, we had sacrifices together. We were truly a family. But one of the things that we did that was so uncomfortable for me was prayer. Mm -hmm. We used to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, every morning. Every morning. <laughs> Air morning. Air morning. 4 o'clock in the morning. And when we got up and prayed, you know, my I didn't want to say anything because I, <clears throat> I really didn't pray. And, you know, eventually I start listening to the women. I start listening to Pastor D. And through impartation, I didn't even have to learn anything. She never gave me a book, but it was through her impartation. Years of sitting under her. Years of listening. she will go and throw a travail, you know, cooking spaghetti. You know, it would just happen. And it would, it would floor me. But I knew I wanted to get there. I knew it was something about prayer that was mm -hmm. powerful. I knew that the power that came mm -hmm. out. And not only did I see it, but I witnessed the miraculous. Mm -hmm. So when she prayed, the miraculous came out. I said, Lord, I can't go nowhere. This is something I have to get. And not because I want to be, you know, all flamboyant. Mm -hmm. I have a daughter. Mm -hmm. I have a life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a mission. Mm -hmm. 
I have a I purpose. have a, a purpose. Mm -hmm. I have my mother's legacy, mm -hmm. my legacy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just more than just being flamboyant and speaking in tongue. And I still don't speak in tongues. That's the last little thing <laughs> that I gotta get because I'm silly. <laughs> Anybody knows me, I'll be like, Lord, I sound like a German soldier. <laughs> I am not speaking right. So it's gonna come. But I just wanted to share my story. This book, I remember when it was being edited. Mm -hmm. That's how long ago I've been with mm -hmm. Pastor D. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. how long this book has been in the earth. And it was powerful then, and it is powerful now. So we said, you know what? It's time. Everything is in God's time. It's time to do a book talk. <laughs> there are so many, don't be laughing at me. There's so many women who have bought this book recently, and it's time. Mm -hmm. So if you have your book, come on, bring it out. Dust mm -hmm. it on off. I know you better start reading this book. Get your book. If you do not have it, there, there's a bit.ly, bit.ly backslash my free prayer book. Order it. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing this book talks. We have many more chapters, so you're not behind. But tonight, chapter three, mm -hmm. part two, mm -hmm. you get to ask questions to Pastor mm -hmm. D about mm -hmm. prayer. All right? You ready? All right, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm just, you ready? I'm just, you know, I'm just listening to you. I'm letting you do you. And it's a... It's a beautiful thing to be able to sit back and just mm -hmm. watch you do you. I'm so excited, you all. Because you're, you're silly, but you're trying to be all near and trying. You're all studious. But the thing is, is that you're being yourself. And I'm mm -hmm. witnessing the growth and the development like right before my eyes. And it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't. I was always been silly, but it mm -hmm. takes a lot out of me. And being silly in public? No, not at all. <laughs> all right, let's get started, everybody. Um... You Chapter do, three. You gonna do a little recap? Yes. Okay. Okay. I just want to be prepared. She ain't tell me nothing. I sure. She ain't don't. tell me nothing, y'all. She just. I'm just sitting here. But that's okay. That's all that's right. Okay. I and know how to walk in a people. That's okay. Yeah. Chapter three. Mm -hmm. We talked last week. You gave us the definition of dunamis, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. was powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, we talked about the victim mentality. Mm -hmm. Okay. How the world system wants to keep us in a victim mentality, but God really wants us in His kingdom. Mm -hmm. Can you recap? And kind of tell us a little bit about that concept of not being part of the victim, but being a part of the kingdom of God. Why is that so important for us as well, a people? Well, it's, well as, as, as women, as, as humans. people, as humans, as people, because mm -hmm. uh, we all have been victimized. Okay. There's no one who has been victimized. But if you really look at the places of your pain and your victimization... That's where your purpose lies, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. So the kingdom is all about his will, okay. his purpose for your life, not your will. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's his will, his purpose. However, the enemy will love to keep you stuck on your pain, love to keep you stuck in your pity, love to keep you stuck looking at yes. you and not looking at the purpose of that and utilizing it through prayer. Because if you're facing some issues or whatever issues you have faced, Trust me, there's a whole lot of people who have faced the same thing. That's it. The key is, don't nobody want to talk about the pain. Mm. So you don't know uh, where the really root lies for pain because mm -hmm. we have been inadvertently taught, cover it up, mm -hmm. conceal it, mm -hmm. don't talk about it. And this is how the enemy run, uh, reaps havoc over us because what you conceal, as I said in the book, uh, eventually it's going to be revealed, but... Also, too, you can't heal. You can't heal. You can't heal. With that victim mentality, yeah. there's no such thing as healing mm -hmm. and victimization. Am I right or wrong? No, no, no. No, they're, they don't go together. Okay. So I can't be okay. healed and still play the victim. Okay. However, I can present my body a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. and, I, and with that, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, look, I want to be healed in, mm -hmm. in, in the areas of my soul so the Holy Spirit can flow through me in a greater way. And that's that doing this power. And you talk about the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and this isn't in the chapter, so you mm -hmm. all get your questions ready. The, you, mm -hmm. It doesn't even have to be in the chapter. Any questions that you have on prayer, but you talk about the Holy Spirit. What is the real purpose of prayer? We never really talked about that. Is it for the Holy Spirit to come and be have this vessel and be able to use us? What's the purpose of even praying? Even when after Jesus ascended, you want me to go into a little Bible study? Come on with it. <laughs> he sent another one like him. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost. Okay, I like, I love. It. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. You know and he said, I have given you power. And that's when the power came. And if you look it up in Acts 1, okay, it's it's referring to dunamis. But mm -hmm. it was after he ascended. He said, you shall be filled with mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit is here to not just, he is here to lead us and to mm -hmm. guide us and to comfort us and all that. But he also has endowed us now with the power okay. that he may be able to utilize us, that we are now 
agents of change, co-laborers with Christ. We are his executors. You know what I'm saying? He needs our vessel because he's given us dominion in the earth. In the beginning, he said, I give you dominion. Mm -hmm. He was speaking to mm -hmm. man and woman. I give you dominion. So if Christ was to come, he, God can't do anything on earth without us. He's, he's given us this earth That's for it. dominion. That's, That's why we see so much havoc. That's why we see much of crazy stuff because we don't recognize our power or our authority. Mm -hmm. And we don't even know the purpose that we're even here. His purpose for our lives. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why we are here to execute his plans that he may bring heaven down on earth. I came from heaven in earth as I have now sought him for my purpose in him that I may be able to execute his plans. He needs my permission. He needs my authority. He needs me to move on his behalf. He needs me to speak. He needs me to supplicate. Prayer is not just to ask, can I have this and can I have mm -hmm. that? I do what he wants me to do and as I yield myself to him for his plans, ain't nothing I would ever ask for. You walk right into, you always walk into it. We're in chapter three, and if you have just joined us, this is Book Talk, you all. Mm -hmm. How to Pray with Power on Purpose, Book Talk with Pastor D. And we're in chapter three, and we're on page 27, mm -hmm. and you talk about supplication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the things that, you know, a lot of us, we just think prayer is prayer. Mm -hmm. But there are different forms of prayer. So supplication is a method, this is in on 27, is a method for miracles to be manifested on a daily basis. What does that mean? Say that one more time. You say supplication a is a method uh -huh. for uh -huh. miracles to be manifested on a daily basis. Because I am dunamis. Mm -hmm. Our dunamis resides on the inside of me. So I have the authority to speak. I have the authority to move. I have okay. the authority to breathe. And I have the authority to declare and decree what I know God wants done in the earth. Mm -hmm. I speak it through the prayer as well as, and, and I don't have to be in a closet. I don't have mm -hmm. to be there. When I walk and talk with God and he, and he, I listen to his voice. Mm -hmm. He tells me what to speak. He tells me what to write. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it goes along with publishing. I hear mm -hmm. intelligently. Mm -hmm. I write it down. I am in his mind. His mind is in me. What's the difference between, a lot of us may not know mm -hmm. this, the difference between supplication and intercession? For a prayer and supplication goes hand in hand. Okay. So it, there, there's various definitions in the Word of God for prayer according to the Greek. But when it talks about, um, even in, uh, I think it's Philippians that I, or for Peter that I wrote, mm -hmm. uh, about prayer and supplication, it's, it's used as a conjunction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so prayer, um, it means to supplicate, to worship. Mm -hmm. Prayer, okay. to supplicate, to worship, and supplication. That means as I supplicate, as I worship, I'm going into a greater fervency mm -hmm. of supplication. Does that okay, make sense? It does. Prayer, supplicate, worship, fervency, pop. Pour yourself out before me. Go in on my mm -hmm, behalf. Mm -hmm. Worship on my behalf. Okay. Allow the fervency of your heart to be able to cause me to supplicate. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. So it now does. with prayer and supplication, I'm making my requests be made known unto God. It's the fervency. It's the zeal. It's the power. It's the fire burning on the inside of me because I know what he wants is not about what I and that has to come from the heart. Am I right or wrong? It comes from the heart because the more you open up your heart to him, the more he can fill you. The more, that's why he say, quench not the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you can quench him being in your head mm -hmm. and not in your heart. Supplication and miracles. Mm -hmm. Dunamis power. Mm -hmm. How are they... All related. Now we're no, in chapter no questions, three. No questions from the book. <laughs> There's questions from the book, you all. <laughs> chapter three. Because I think you'll be having your own. I know. The These book. are questions from the book. How to pray with power on purpose. Book talk. <laughs> yeah. Supplication and dunamis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dunamis is that strength power. It's the miraculous power. Mm -hmm. What? I really stuck on supplication because I know it's important. Mm -hmm. Because in our day and hour, we just don't supplicate. I think many of us go to the altar and we may pray or we may listen to us, but, but forget that. How did supplication get lost in this generation? Self-absorption. We, we on it. Okay, if you think about, I came up old school. Okay. Okay. Um, old school with, even in my age, with older mothers, mm -hmm. okay. Um, in those days, we did not have the liberty to do the things that we want to do. Mm -hmm. It's called 
obedience. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just obedience to God. It was obedience to your elders. It was obedience to authority. It was mm -hmm. obedience. So it goes back to we have now so much free will to do what we want to do. We've always had it, but we have lost a sense of obedience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No one act like they can't submit to nothing and nobody. Everybody got to have their own thing going on. It's called self-centeredness and self-absorption. There's mm -hmm. a hierarchy. There's an order that takes place. That's mm -hmm. one way that we've lost it. I haven't experienced so many. Uh, I know God's raising up preachers and people or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that this is the end time. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, everybody has to have some level of submission to someone to be able to walk in obedience and allow the word to be worked within them. Okay. Through experience. What type of experience? Through just experience. Just it's, it's, life it's just, experience. It's, it's experience. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, so yes. another way is that we're so intellectual. Mm. The greatest power came from the greatest ones who did not even know how to read, did not know. We got intellect, we got internet, we got Google, everybody got head knowledge, everybody got information, and it puffs them up to think that they know it all and there is no power. Mm -hmm. So even in the word of God, it says a form of godliness, but we're denying yes, the power yes, therein. Yes. That's dunamis. Mm -hmm. Because we got big edifice now. You know what I'm saying? See, we had the old church with the pews, and yes. and, and when you bend down, it, it creaks. <laughs> creak, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Or I was out in Alabama uh, under a tent. You know, we mm -hmm. had tent revivals mm -hmm. then. You know, mm -hmm. now if you if I don't have air condition, if I don't have yeah. comfort, if I don't have the beauty, if you really want to know the truth about it. Mm -hmm. The church is a billion dollar industry to the bank because everybody trying to build a better and bigger edifice to get more people to come in. And this is why it's a whole lot of church hopping because this church looked better than that church. So I'm going for the cosmos. I'm not going for the, for the power. Mm. And that's what we... And we lose yes, yes, that yes, yes, essence. Yes, yes. And then now, we're nice, nasty. We are bougie. We don't want to get into the mm -hmm. crust of things. We don't want to go into the streets. We don't want to go and talk to the drug addicts. We don't understand our authority. That's I don't understand. I, you know, I went down one block and it was about 61 churches in, in eight blocks and it was and wasn't no change. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. That's true. So this is how we've lost it. Mm -hmm. Everybody got to be an Indian and a chief. Or a chief. A not chief. an Indian, not an Indian. Right, right, you see right. what I'm saying? We got a lot of we chiefs. We got a lot of chiefs. I, I can't get a job. I start a church. Mm-hmm. It's a, I, it's a lucrative business. I, 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 but it, it's Speak not. On it. It, it, but, but no, but, but, but the but, way that we've seen it, it's the way, a lucrative right, business. You know what? Because I have to exert power. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't have power in my home, but I got I got to have power over people. I, ain't got, I don't have power and authority to walk in my home and, 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 and give things, but I got to go create a church so I can go and, and, and exert my power. Mm -hmm. Even the word of God said, if a, a bishop has, has respect, honor in his own home, so how are you going to be out here and you got all these people following you? You can't even get no respect and no honor at, at, with your wife and your home, with your kids. That's the word. Right. See, so if we're not aligning ourselves up mm -hmm. with the word, how are we going to have this power to show miracles and manifestation? That's it. That's, That's it. just truth. That's Put it, it on YouTube. That's it. <laughs> I am welcoming everybody uh, yeah. who's here. This, this, is, is uh, this, is, this is real talk. And this is real talk. This is How to Pray with Power on Purpose Book Talk. This is Pastor D, who is the author, Dunamis D, Coach D, Strategic mm -hmm. Life and Relationship Coach. We are on Chapter 3. And I'm asking questions from the book, you all. She thinks it's from my head, but it's not. <laughs> it's from the book. I want everybody to know about supplication. But thank you. Thank you for getting uh, clear. Thank you for speaking the truth. And because because it's necessary. That, and and, and it's, all of that is hindering us from seeing a move of God. Yeah. And, and, and I have to speak it because... When God created man and woman, that's what he created, man and woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So even though I may be a woman and I have I, I, I was gifted to teach, I was gifted to nurture. That's what pastoring mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. It nurtures the sheep, it teacher, it teaches. But at the end of the day, when I went home, I was a woman. Mm -hmm. And I had to live by the rule and the authority of submission and understanding the man was the head of that home. He was the leader of that home. Mm -hmm. I didn't, what God said, there's so many women prophesying what God said in the home. That, that, uh-uh. And then you think you want to get some fire and some fervency and prayer. Your heart is too prideful. Yeah. You got to position yourself. You got to position your heart. Does that make sense? It does make sense. And I honestly... 
And you all chime in. This is not about just Pastor D and I speaking. This is about you. If you have a comment to make, chime in. Any question, chime in. But I don't even think that we, you know, sometimes when you don't, and this is historical, when you don't have a remembrance of your history, mm -hmm. you have a whole generation who does not know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You have a whole generation who's never seen a miracle before. Mm -hmm. You have a whole generation who's mm -hmm. never seen supplication. Mm -hmm. They've never seen wailing. They've never even seen what a real altar looks like. Mm -hmm. You have a whole generation who will never, ever see. I'm not going to say never, ever see because God mm -hmm. is bringing it back through oh, yeah, you. He is. He's bringing, he's back, bringing through, it back through he's you bringing back and an army of, of, yes, of other is. people. Yes, he is. So it can't be lost. Mm -hmm. History cannot be lost. And mm -hmm. this is a part of our history. We talk about, you know, we could look at entrepreneurs and we can look at this and we can look at mm -hmm. whatever buildings. Mm -hmm. But prayer and supplication is a part of who we are. It's a part of our DNA and it's a part of our history. That power that you're talking about, we have a whole generation that's never even seen it. Don't I, even know oh about it. I, I remember just so clearly. Mm -hmm. I went to a word church and uh, awesome late Reverend Gerard J. Terrell. Mm -hmm. And we would open up the church on a Wednesday night and it would just be us as women, you know, just, we didn't even come and just pray, but we just laid out at the altar. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And we would individually just cry out to God. We didn't have to wait for one to pray and the other one to mm -hmm. I mean, we, it was just, we just came and just laid out before. Mm -hmm. God, what do you want? Just mm -hmm. lay it out. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We didn't need no lights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We didn't need no tambourine. We didn't need no praise and worship. We just came in ready with our hearts ready because that, 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 the fragrance in that mm -hmm. home, in that edifice, in that building, through the word that had been preached or whatever, but just coming there and just going to that altar and laying it out. Now it was a, a, a um, uh, what is it? A nice little, a nice place that was well adorned, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the essence of our heart gave it that altar. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah. The altar is in your heart. Mm. <laughs> No, no. It's in your heart. It's the in, altar is not that just that that little plank that they get yes, carpet over. Yes, yes, it's yes, the yes. altar of your heart. That, that's just a sign. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's what just saying? a symbol. That's just that's a, a symbol. symbolism. Yes, yes, yes. I want us to get to the heart so bad when it comes to prayer because that's where mm -hmm. the move of God is. It is. That's where the move of God really is. And if you are just joining us, this mm -hmm. is Book Talk. Mm -hmm. How to Pray with Power on Purpose Book Talk. She's using hers for a fan. <laughs> Right now, I had mine upside down, but this is a real book talk. Well, and this is oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I ain't be the first of all, but she's using our book. That's okay. Right. You know, I got no shame. We're on chapter three. We're still on 27. Mm -hmm. I promise you, I'm going to move it along. But 27, you said you can only go so far without activating your dunamis power through prayer and supplication. You say God has delivered so many people from the mm -hmm. hand of Satan. Yes, they have. And too often, believers slip and dip right back into what they've been delivered from. You said, and this is so powerful, listen up, y'all. This solely happens because that they did not maintain their miracle yes. by allowing it to be used for, for purpose. purpose. Come on, speak on <laughs> That When I read that, I was full. Okay, so what did you get? Well. Yeah, let me, what did you get? It's not my book talk. No, I know, I know not. I'm going to elaborate. But oh, you was like, when I got that, I was floored. I was floored because, yes, I, I'm just, speak to you. okay, I'm going to speak personal. I can mm -hmm. only speak personal. I have been delivered from uh, some self-doubt and some faulty thinking. I have been delivered in areas of my body, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. I have had ailments all of my life, from mm -hmm. seizures to epilepsy, you name it, whatever. But I have been, I have seen miracles in my body. But I have gone back to my faulty thinking and I have gone back to some things that, um, you know, kind of dissipated what that miracle was because I wasn't not using my body for purpose, but I wasn't used. I didn't have my testimony mm -hmm. for purpose. Does that make sense? I, I, I not only kept it to myself, but I was ashamed almost of the miracle. Now, I don't know if that's what this means, but that's what came well, to me. And, and, and it's not a black and white. Right. There might be many variables to it. However... The essence of what took place is though 
God has delivered you, and after he delivered us, we forget about where we've come from. Yes, We yes, forget yes. about what he delivered us from, and then you end up slipping back into something, or you can slip back into uh, self-doubt. Mm -hmm. You can slip back into uh, uh, having a seizure or whatever. Yeah. If you want to use that for his purpose. Yes, yes, yes. You see yes, what I'm yes. saying? Don't, the, Romans 12 and 3, think not too highly come of yourself. Come on now. Come okay? on now. Don't allow grandiose thinking. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, even said in Deuteronomy, don't forget what I brought you through. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, you know what I'm saying? I talk to so many women based upon my purpose. Mm. I'm not stuck on the pain of betrayal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I truly don't have unforgiveness. I mm -hmm. am, I, I operated in love. Mm -hmm. But I don't forget, one lady, I, I said, baby, I feel your agony. Oh, Jesus, if you just, just hold on, because I know God going to bring you through. Why? Because he brought me through. Yes. You see yes, what I'm yes, saying? Yes, yes. But I, I wish I could have just held her. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, because I know where she was. Mm -hmm. I know where she is. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I know where yes. I was. But now I take that in prayer. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So when I pray with her, I, I, I'm not just thinking about her, but I know what she feels because I felt it. I felt the agony when you love someone and they don't even look at you. Hmm. I know what that emotional anguish feel mm -hmm. like. You see what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I, I don't, I'm delivered, Correct. but I don't have amnesia. Correct. Whatever he brought me through is under the blood, but I don't have amnesia. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now when I'm using that from in coaching, when I'm using that in prayer coaching, as I coach women for prayer, not only life and relationship, oh my God, I am now supplicating. That's Say, it. God, what That's you it. did for me, do it for do her. Do it for her. Oh, God. Yes, and I, and yes, before yes. you know it, I'm just gone. That's it. That's it. But that's, 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 that's because what I know that. Is. But if I don't use it for purpose. Yes. yes. See, that's purpose is my safety place. Mm -hmm. Purpose is that. So if I just, oh, I'm good. I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not with him no more. Oh, we good. And I got my Mercedes. And I'm going on. I got my new hair. I'm good. I will attract a Joe Blow mm -hmm. who will eat me up on the inside again like I never thought I would be eaten up. Now that has happened to me. Now my eyes have been enlightened to truth. I repent. <laughs> I repent. Because I will, you know, the betrayal is so deep. Mm -hmm. Betrayal is so hard. And it, it makes you not want to face that you've just been betrayed. So, yeah, I have gone and been like, forget him. I'm on to the next. Woo, woo, woo. Oh. And have attracted 10 and, times and, and, worse. And, and, and it might not even be that you're on to the next. You just repress. Mm -hmm. the feeling of it. That's why coaching is so important. That's mm -hmm. why therapy is so important. Mm -hmm. I'm using those synonymously. Right, okay? right, right. Because when I coach, they don't understand the therapy. You right, know what right. I mean? But if you tell black folks they're therapy, they're going to run. So I call it spiritual life. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> you know, is Linda somebody else? Okay, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> Linda is coaching. Okay, it's coaching, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, when, when I'm going, th when I'm going, they go through that process mm -hmm. because so many people just repress it like, Oh, okay. He's gone. I'm done. I got my nice hair. I'm done. But you know what? You could end up in a, in a situation that's yeah. even worse. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you got to go through your process and utilize it for your purpose. So when you suppress it, you don't, I, I know you've been through with, with betrayal. I, you even raised the kid. Uh, and help your husband, ex-husband raise mm -hmm. the kid. But I'll never hear you supplicate for nobody who's been betrayed. And mm -hmm. that's just an indicator mm -hmm. for me is that you have repressed and suppressed your feelings in that area because you don't even know how to supplicate because you have repressed and suppressed and sure you cover it up with a lot of work. You cover it up with your mind on your daughter. You cover mm -hmm. it up with things. So it's hindering your supplication in that area for a nation of women who have experienced the same Come thing. Come on like now. I just got free. <laughs> I just been delivered. I'm so serious. That's that's true. Mm -hmm. I have suppressed it, and it's not going to be a coaching session for Michelle. I'm going to get back to this. But you are so right. But I want other women to be free because we have suppressed so much. And mm -hmm. you're right. I have. I, I rarely supplicate for, uh, never supplicate for women who've been betrayed, women who've had, uh, you know, spouses may have had an outside child. You know, that's, that could be detrimental. But I've never done that because it is suppressed. Because I have acted like everything was fine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and you and 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 how your life was situated yes. at that time, you had to take it. 
you had to be okay with that. Right. You see what I'm Most saying? Definitely. So that can come to quench the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So that's why we always go to the healing, the fountain of healing. Yes. There ain't no condemnation. Mm -hmm. It's just God heal me in that area so I can be used greater for you. And I want to be healed in other areas so I can be used greater and greater and greater wow. and greater. And then with confidence to know as I speak that I know with authority, if he did it for me, he'll do it for you. That's it. And that, that right there, mm -hmm. I, we, can, we can shut it down. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm going home now. You, but anyway, you have. I just <laughs> want to. I'm going to keep it moving, but I do want to invite you, mm -hmm. everyone who's watching, this is Book Talk. This is Book Talk, and we're on Chapter 3, How to Pray with Power on Purpose. This is an open dialogue. If you have any comments or any mm -hmm. questions about prayer, come on and jump mm -hmm. in. It, it, we're just talking mm -hmm. what's in this book yes. because it's powerful. All of these things you can't get from reading a book. It's the revelation. It's, the it's revelation. actually speaking to the author and hearing her heart. Mm -hmm. And that's the purpose of book talk. So don't be shy. Chime in. Get your questions in. I'm still on page 27. That's a shame. I've been on 27 all, <laughs> all this time. But you said something earlier, and I knew it was here. Mm -hmm. You said what you conceal mm -hmm. will be revealed mm -hmm. in various destructive manners and mm -hmm. behaviors. Mm -hmm. I want you to really speak on it because we don't believe it. We think that once we repress it and it's suppressed, it's done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that stuff may come up and out. Well, and and and, and it's not just ooh, your stuff gonna be exposed. See, no. because okay, go ahead. because because see, God is not petty. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. He petty. like us. He right, he, right, right, right. <laughs> you know, with, with him, should be revealed. Right, right, well, right. Well, that does have that is biblical, but it, it's, it's a different, it's another context for right. that, and I'm not gonna get into that. But in this case, of what you're ask, saying is that. Or what has been said, what you conceal, it will be revealed. So in other words, it goes back to what you were saying. You know, if you're concealing some things of your pain mm. that he wants to use for purpose, then he will allow you to encounter another man similar to the one who hurt you and betrayed you to bring back to your remembrance and to bring it up mm. so it can come out. Come on now. You understand what I'm, I'm saying? I'm about crying. I can't go through another betrayal. I got to get this today. <laughs> you hear me? Well, and it might not even be a betrayal, <laughs> but you delivered. will meet. Uh, oh. You can meet another man. Mm. I promise you, you'll have met someone that has very similar ways and attributes yes. of your ex-husband. Most definitely. Because you have repressed a lot yes, of that. So he yes. wants to, and you've concealed it. Mm -hmm. So he, he, when you look at, uh, you can see Jack as your ex-husband, but when you look at Joe, you'll be like, oh, Lord Jesus, that reminds me of him. Okay, I'm trying, I'm getting something out of you. Mm -hmm, I want something mm -hmm, to be revealed. Mm -hmm. I want you to come to me about that. Yes, Let it be revealed. Yes. Let it be revealed. I'm speaking to you in that yes. area. I'm speaking to you. Okay. Oh, Becky says old hurts. Yes, Becky. Mm -hmm. Old hurts. They hurt. But God wants all of those old hurts up out of us. Yes. And, and a lot of people re suppress. And when you suppress and you don't want to deal with it, you start repressing. And so now it hinders a move of God mm -hmm. inside of you because it's too painful. But the pain, you got to now get the counsel, get the coaching so you can know how to turn that mm -hmm. around. I always ask women in my coaching program when they come in, what has been your greatest attacks? What has been your greatest painful experience? Because in that, I know we've had a lot of them, but in the greatest that really hit you and the first thing that come up, I can then I can begin to help you understand his mm -hmm. purpose for your life. Ladies, I want you and gentlemen who are watching, I want you not, you don't have to type it in, but I really want you to think about your greatest attacks. Where have they come from? If you have a sheet of paper in front of you, I want you to actually write it down mm -hmm. and I want you to really think about it and reflect on it. Um, this is not just about us talking, but we want you to really get something out of it because just like I'm sitting here and I read this book. Now, this is the important reason why we have book talk. I've read this book. I read this book all the time. But not until you see it for yourself and you see yourself in this book mm -hmm. does it does this mm -hmm. manifest mm -hmm. and it becomes real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're having book talks. And mm -hmm. I so appreciate you. And come yeah. on with the comments. Yeah. Becky said it's old hurts. Do not be ashamed or do not be shy because mm -hmm. this is about your healing. Mm -hmm. That's what doing this woman is about. Healing, mm -hmm. spiritual mm -hmm. development. Mm -hmm. We want you to be set free. Prayer, spiritual warfare. This is not about just, yeah, yeah, this is not yeah, a women's movement. Yeah, 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 this may yeah. be a ministry mm -hmm. led by a woman, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but this is for not only yourself. Like Come on now. Yes, it's, it's a movement it's led a by movement. a woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, this is about your children. This is about that man. This is about whomever God has assigned to you. Mm -hmm. So now I'm on chapter, um, page 28. I've moved up to 27. <laughs> Still in chapter 3, you all. Mm -hmm. And you talk about, ooh, womb, 
breakers. Mm -hmm. Now you always talk about we're womb bearers, bearers yes. but she talks about in chapter three, womb breakers. Mm -hmm. You say, I firmly believe that this is because we've been called per we've been called purpose, predestined, and ordained by God to serve as womb breakers of the world. Mm -hmm. We talk about possessing our inheritance in the mm -hmm. promised land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is a womb break? I can't even say the word right. <laughs> womb breaker. What is a womb huh? breaker? <coughs> Out of your belly mm -hmm. shall flow rivers of living water. If you look up the word belly, it's a hollow place. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a it's a place that's like it's like your womb that's hollow, mm -hmm. and it, it it it's there to be filled. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So out of it can flow. That's okay. the spirit of the Lord. So it can break up some things. Mm -hmm. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Break up. See, we talk about being a curse breaker. Come on now. But through prayer, I'm a womb breaker. Mm. My womb is used. That hollow place is for the Lord to, to inhabit. You know what I'm saying? So I can now break up some stuff in the earth. You understand what I'm saying? Through your womb. Through my womb. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Through my womb. I've so never even, heard that before. Go ahead. <laughs> so even when I speak out of my belly, out of that hollow place that he has filled. When I speak, I come to break up follow ground. Mm. I come to break up stubbornness. I come to break up the hardness of the heart. You understand what I'm yes, saying? Yes, when yes. I pray, it's doing the same thing. I come to break it up. See, a lot of us are trying to do some things and we're hitting some dead places. Okay. I, I want you to give an example. <laughs> I'm all about examples and practicality. I don't know about you, but I need some explanation. I can, I can have some example. Um, I, I, let me. Uh, okay, speaking. Let me just use speaking for a second. Let's, go, let's okay? go for it. I know that I am not just a. I'm not a motivational speaker mm -hmm. at all. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm a challenging speaker, and I'm going to come to impact. That's intentional. So because God has gifted me to understand the mind, it's a gift. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm saying. I come, I know when certain things are going to come out of my mouth that it's going to cause minds to lock up. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I say certain things that most pastors won't say because I got to shock your consciousness. But what I'm doing out of my belly is flowing life that I come to break up that fallow ground that's, that's in your mind. That's that it. stubbornness because when I see how the heck you're going to sit up here and tell me that you okay and you've been broken and, 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 and we're all good as believers mm. because you are in a world that is that caused your mind to lock down in your own mind. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I come and that be out of my belly flow, he, I, I, I need the spirit of the Lord. You see what yes, I'm saying? Yes. So I'm like Ezekiel. He said, I'll make your forehead like a flint. You know what I'm saying? I'll make your head hard that when they head come against you, yours will stand firm. So that's a womb breaker. That's a womb I come breaker. to break it up. Mm. Same thing I do when I'm speaking. When I'm in prayer, I, don't, I was, I was a, in a prayer coaching call this morning at 5 o'clock. And I was like, honey, I'm not the one to go pray for the sick. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If I pray for the sick, the dead gonna rise up. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's power. They go, that's power. You know, so mm -hmm. That doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just not that one to go, Father, I pray right now that she, that she will be here. My sister got that anointing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong. I need her. She need me. You see right, what I'm saying? Right, right. I, but I, I come to break up some stuff. Yes, I'll be yes. in the hut now, Moshe. Ha, rakasa, ha, robo, ha, ha. I'll be all up in that piece. You better know. <laughs> you see how she go in? She just went in. Didn't even know she was there. But that's power. That's you know, supplication. She I, thought about it in her head. I did. And supplicated. Because I, I would have been gone. She I went in her. just from the thought of some. Because in my bed, I'm... That's real, You, you see too. what I'm saying? No, that's real. I, they have prayer at my church before uh, before 8 o'clock prayer, right before service. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I, I go to a wonderful church, but they don't deal with warfare like no, that. They don't. So I was talking to the pastor. He said, why don't you go to prayer meeting? And he got my book. You know? <laughs> I said, Pastor, you want me to go to prayer? He said, I thought about it. No, 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 no. Because I'll be up at Hyundai on my heart. I'll be... But they're not accustomed to right, that. You see right. what I'm she saying? Shut down prayer. <laughs> They'd have to regroup for it. He, he wouldn't have no members up in there. Right. Party, right. He said, no, that's okay. You stay Right, home. right. They be done change the day just for you. <laughs> like, we don't have Wednesday prayer no more. <laughs> that's in a bulletin just for her. Talking about it, so it's been canceled. 
so she don't show up. <laughs> but that's a wall breaker. Yes, I, I, yes, I, I, yes. But you, you got to understand it according to your purpose. To, to your according purpose. According to his purpose for your life. That's it, that's so, it. Walk, abide in your own calling. Yes. You know, yes. I can't compare myself with somebody else. I can't. I, I'm, I'm used to God pl place me with gang bangers. Be, people don't understand. You know, that's a wound breaker. I had my forehead was like that. They were about to take me out. I don't give a crap what gang sign. You know, I don't know your name, mm -hmm. but I know who I am. You know, what that's, I'm saying? It. that's how know I got who you are. Know who you are. That's what that supplication. That's what that dunamis. That's what that power. You all, we have. Woo! This is real, and this is book talk. I don't think you ever gonna experience a book talk where she go in in two point five seconds. I don't think you ever gonna do that. I did have to catch you. Yeah, it. I had, I had almost. I, I kind of inched over on the screen, but I almost came out the screen. I was like, she went in. She went in. But that's power. Honestly, honestly, that's what we all should be. In a split second, God wants to use all of us. I, I he wants to use there. your womb just like that with no shame, unashamed, unapologetic. That's what we are to be doing and, and, and on behalf have, of, of because God. Because you don't know when the Holy Spirit Come wants on to now. use you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and see, you are an agent of change in the earth. Yes. You know, I was in I was in Nordstrom's rack. I, I just, and, and somebody called me to pray for them. And I was shopping with my uh, girlfriend at that time, you know. And before you know it, I was in Nordstrom rack. I was gone. You know what I mean? Pushing mm -hmm. that car, but I was gone. I forgot about the element that I was yes, in. Yes. But I promise you, didn't nobody say nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> I was gone. You know no. what I'm saying? I'm not ashamed. And you, can, you can't be ashamed. ashamed. What well, we've been called to women, and if you're a mighty Christian woman, even if you have been under the auspices of Pastor D, if you are mm -hmm. an Understand Your Greatness coaching program, this is just a, a, a witness or a testament of what the power that you have inside mm -hmm. of you. Because Pastor D only attracts leaders, mm -hmm. honestly. God yeah. only sends her leaders. And God warriors. only sends her warriors mm -hmm. and women of power. So if you're in Mighty Christian Women, if you're in Understand Your Greatness, even if you're on this page watching, know that you have the same power. Yes, you, just, do. you have yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Come on yeah, now. Yeah, you do. Come on now. Come, yeah, you do. Yes, you, yeah, do. you do. We're here to tell yeah, you. Yeah, this, this, yeah, you is, do. this is you and you are her. Yeah, Come and on you now. are yourself. Yes. And you got to activate it. You yes. got to ignite it. And, but this is why I'm here. Yes. You know what I'm saying? This is why the book was written. Oh, it's going to be a move of God. It is oh a move my of God. God. It's going to be a move now. of God. Oh, come on now. Okay. okay. Let's get back. All right. Are you ready? Page 29. <laughs> <laughs> the last page of How to Pray with Power on Purpose. Thank you all who have been here for staying on this book talk. Mm -hmm. You talk about the problem that perpetuates itself is that too many women have not been effectively taught how much power mm -hmm. they possess, mm -hmm. neither mm -hmm. about the potential mm -hmm. to activate the power mm -hmm. through praying on purpose. Mm -hmm. Come on, speak on it. <laughs> I know. I, I, who, I, I guess that's it. why they call me Mama D. Come you on. know, I, I I don't tell people to call me that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I they say, is it okay? I said, well, whoever, whatever you need out of me mm -hmm. is where you're going to end up calling me. Right. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? If you need something else, you could, she can resurrect too. You see what I'm right. saying? However, the reason why I said that is because God wants us to be taught. Mm -hmm. Many of us have not been taught. Do you know how many of our own personal, natural, biological mamas been hurting? Many. You know what I'm saying? So we were just talking about that in the car. You, yeah. know? Um, you know, oh yeah, they did the best they could, but they also did things that they chose to do. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? But it don't mean that I don't need to be taught. Mm -hmm. So I, we as women need to be taught. Many women don't even see their power. They've been hit so much by the enemy. Yeah. The enemy have attacked us in our emotions. And trust me, we all have. Me too. God has bring open up my eyes more to my power and my mm -hmm. value for where I'm going. You Correct. know what I'm saying? But he comes to hit us in our emotions through relationships, through life, through everything, you know? And so it diminishes, it blinds us, you know? So we don't see that potential. We don't see that power. We don't see how we have authority. Mm -hmm. How, I told one lady today, I, I, I was uh, in, in, in another prayer coaching call this morning, and I said, honey, you carry his name. Mm. And I said, do you know that gives you authority yeah. as well as power? I said, you got power, mm -hmm. but now you're moving in authority. Mm -hmm. I said, so just because you, 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 you're you married, but you don't know how to walk in that authority. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? From a spiritual perspective. Just like you can go and say, hey, I'm missing so-and-so, and I can sign a check or whatever. I said, it's the same way in the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. So I said, you're going to learn. I said, so when you pray out of that vein. See, when I'm praying, when you pray for him, he has this. She got the authority. I'm just her midwife. That's it. 
You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I got authority, but I'm coming up with agree. I'm coming in agreement with her, with mm -hmm. her authority, because she has that power and authority by carrying the name. The power is in the name. That's it. That's Are it. you with? Yes, yes. Just like we call the powers in the name of Jesus. Well, the power is in the name. You know, mm -hmm. of, of, of my last name. When I when I get that great man, is his life is gonna shift because I'm now representing him and his name. That's it. And for all of us out there who carry the name of our husband, it's the powers in the name. A lot of women oh. don't even know that they have that power with authority. Or whether as, you as carry the name of your father. You see what I'm saying? One. I mean, it, 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 it all goes back to the man. Yes. That, it, it all goes back to the pater. Mm hmm it goes back to the pater. Now, a lot of it's been distorted. Don't yes, get me wrong. Definitely. Because we got men's names that we don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Who ain't our daddy. Correct. You know, We yes. have kids now. And we to give them our daddy's name. So it's just become so distorted. Mm -hmm. But however, God's power as you get healed and coaching and your eyes become aligned to the truth. It teaches you how to walk into that domain so restoration can take place. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to personally thank you. You're welcome. This thank is you the, all. This is Book Talk. We were on Chapter 3, Part uh, 2, How to Pray with Power on Purpose. If you do not have the book, the bit.ly is up there, bit.ly backslash my free prayer book. Now, in addition to this prayer book, Pastor D, every Tuesday has a prayer webinar, bit.ly backslash free prayer webinar. And in that prayer webinar, you talk about the birthing process. You talk about so much. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give it away, but I do want you to register if you have not registered before. What you have experienced uh, as far as this talk on prayer, you get so much more in the webinar and you, you definitely need to get the book. Mm -hmm. So much more in the book. Mm -hmm. But I want to know, uh, first of all, thank all of you. Mm -hmm. If Thank you all you. have any last questions, mm -hmm. this is your last. We got about one more minute. Mm -hmm. Anything that you want to ask mm -hmm. about prayer, but I want to personally ask you, do you have anything <laughs> else that you want to no, say? No, you know I don't, because if I open up my mouth, I'll be preaching. Right, we'll have a, about the eighth so, yes. closing. <laughs> yes. So if there are no other questions, thank you, thank you, thank you. Join us again. Now, we're actually on Wednesdays. We're going to shift this to Mondays. Mondays. We're yes. going to be, we're going to have book talk on yes. Mondays now. And uh, the reason we're doing <coughs> that is because more people have, uh, you know, they're, they're available and we want to reach the masses. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want to reach the masses mm -hmm. with the message mm -hmm. because it is powerful. How many of us really understood what supplication was? How many of us really understood, you know, just the power that we have and, and tap it into that, that pain point so God can use us? We always talk about don't quench mm -hmm. the spirit, but did you really get the analogy? So when you see this at a later date, type in replay. When you see this at a later date and you know someone who may need this message, just tag them. Mm -hmm. Share it on your page. Mm -hmm. It's all about spreading the message of the kingdom of God, and you've done it so beautifully through, through this book. And I will, and and in the, the next time I want to go a little bit more deeper into supplication because mm -hmm. I just scratched the surface because mm -hmm. I don't want to I don't want to get into a teaching mode. Correct. You know, I'll go into that in a minute. But I believe that it's so important that we really understand what it is for prayer and supplication. That's so it. as God continue to uh, open us up. That's it. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you. Yes, we appreciate thank you. you. And uh, again, get the book, mm -hmm. join the webinar, yeah. share this with someone, tag someone, and know that um, we'll see you next week. <laughs> what that a good one. That was my, that was my signature close. Y'all rate me on that. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.